but I've gotten an ATV transmission. And you didn't. <laughs> I've been recording here for two hours, like literally hour and a half of those bottle flip spinning thingies. Like my head is going crazy. Like my head is now spinning like just this last machine here. Hey yo, yo guys, it is me, Happy Cyrus, and welcome back to Last of Earth Survival. So today we're gonna be kind of assembling our ATV. We're gonna talk about that a little bit later, but right now let's activate here this terminal. Let's activate here another terminal. And after we're gonna be done here with the fourth floor, we are gonna go to the raid. Because all I have to do right now is just complete the fourth floor and then I'll be able to go to that raid. And after that, I'm gonna get my hands on the ATV. We're not quite done yet, but I'm like literally almost 95% done with it. The only thing that I require is two ATV transmissions and last time my luck was pretty good. And the point is, the sooner I get those two ATV transmissions, the sooner we'll be able to ride it. So I think that today is gonna be the day where I will definitely try my best to get those two ATV transmissions. I'm gonna take everything all I can to just increase my luck, like those doggos with bloodhound skill and etc etc so now let's just hop inside of the fourth floor and maybe at the same time i'm gonna be able to get 10 extra red tickets and i'll be able to open up here the red crate wait i opened up the orange and green crate but i didn't even check what we're gonna get inside well welcome to happy sarks channel at the end of the day what we're gonna get there just a glock or something not really even that interesting so we're gonna try to deal with those dudes as fast as possible i thought that i took my doggo with me but i think i fed them but i didn't take my true friend dog with me yeah because he always ruins everything <laughs> forgot well my bobby the doggo is just gonna stay inside of his place. Could have probably sneaked behind those toxic bombs, but you know what? Like extra 90 health or something, we're gonna be able to do this stuff with without being super efficient. If you, if you wanna see how to do fourth floor super efficiently, just probably type on YouTube Cyrek like fourth floor or something and you'll be able to see how I've done here the fourth floor. If you wanna do it there, I skipped all the turrets, etc, etc, and I explain how to do it really efficiently. So inside of this crate, we're gonna get here one grenade and the point is I haven't done Bunker Alpha now for a really, really long time time because I've been just doing that bunker bravo but I think today guys it's a pretty epic day for us to go back and revisit at least that bunker alpha a little bit again don't get me wrong I'm still like kind of bored of that bunker alpha that's why I'm not going here and some of you who let's say who just found out my channel or for those who started watching me recently like a couple of months ago those people might be wondering that well sir how did you get bored of bunker alpha so quickly like blah blah the point is I've been playing this last on earth now for two years and imagine doing that bunker alpha for two years basically basically every two days straight like that's insane seriously that is seriously insane numbers and that's why I'm kind of sick of that bunker alpha back in the days I used to play it a lot and a lot and a lot and super frequently and I think that just sucked up all my joy from that bunker alpha okay so they're gonna keep punching me I don't think there's much I can do but I'm still gonna be able to use this and we're gonna deal with the shotgun just like that go to sleep but still the best way to probably get rich in the game not probably but the best way to get rich in the game is bunker alpha I say that in every single video because People keep asking me, well, Sark, how to get rich in the game, and I think that just the best way to answer is just by saying to Boom Bunker Alpha instead of, like, saying some sort of weird tips, like, oh, get the buff from healers and something like that. I mean, you just have to do Bunker Alpha, that's it. There is no no working around behind it. There is no math, no science, nothing is involved. It's not rocket science. All you have to do is just that Bunker Alpha, that's it. Like, if tech, you don't, you can skip grinding, like, let's say those green zones and other stuff. You you can skip doing like that probably police department you can skip doing the farm you can skip basically everything but you cannot skip your uh, bunker alpha if you want to progress in the game you don't have to do the fourth floor because the fourth floor is like 50 50 especially if you don't have your true friend dog and your burglar skills if you don't have those both things then bunker alpha seriously becomes kind of okay so the turret just totally outranges me well cyric versus turret once again baby here we go go to sleep thank you very much and inside of this great we're gonna get a copper and other thing boom boom so in those cases i highly suggest you skipping the fourth floor because it's not really that useful you're not gonna get here a lot of great stuff okay so i'm gonna just take that baby boom gonna gather all of them just to do a spread shot most likely could uh, do a little bit of sneak damage on them but i would prefer to do spread shot i think i do more damage with the spread shot rather than with the sneaking skill. And again, in that video that I just spoke about, if you want to know how to do the fourth floor efficiently, there I didn't use any spread shots, nothing. I just used like the simple glocks and simple melee weapons just to show you uh, how to do that fourth floor efficiently. Okay, so we're going to now deal with our frenzy giant and hopefully he's going to drop me a red ticket because I seriously need them. Okay, so six extra red tickets. I kind of doubt that we'll be able to get them here. So maybe we'll even have to snap transition ourselves through the blind one. I think that would be pretty epic. That blind one is going to drop us 10 extra red tickets and uh, yeah, 
I'll be able to open up a red crate. Four extra guns, hopefully at least one AK. Okay, so now zombie go to sleep. Another zombie zomb go to sleep. You know what? Shotguns are pretty cool when they get crit chance. Uh, when you get that crit chance damage, but most of the time you don't get it, so... It's not as easy to deal with those frozen zombies when you don't get it. Okay, so wow, I got frozen and I still was able to open up the door. Usually whenever you're frozen, the door does not open up. So I think I was really lucky here. I could have just died right inside because I was still pretty fast. <laughs> so I think with kind of a glitch or something, we were able to survive that place. Well, that's awesome. I'm not going to say no to that. Uh, let's try to deal with... Okay, could it sneak? Totally made a mistake. Thought I had a shotgun, but hey... Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, get out of here. Get out of here. Will that dude just punch me? Yes, he definitely punches me. So I'm gonna be able to deal with him with my shotgun. Oh, no, no. Dude, 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 dude. Are you kidding me? Go to sleep. Very epic. Another red ticket. Yes, so all I require now is five extra red tickets, which I obviously... It, it's That's it. Like, we're done with the fourth floor. I am not gonna be able to get those five extra red tickets. Okay, let's take here bandages, the beans, bada boom. Let's get out of here this floor and let's loot those two. Special thing is I might actually even come here with my true friend Doggo just to loot those two places. But again, you don't really get here anything that great besides like one flare gun and uh, sometimes one steel plate. And don't get me wrong, these resources are pretty great. But for me, my biggest drawback for now are going to be weapons for that bunker Bravo and like stronger weapons because I do have a lot of Glocks. I do have a lot of shotguns and I believe that those guns are going to be more than enough for everything else in this game besides that bunker bravo so i don't really need any more flare guns or any more of other garbage weapons sometimes you can get here an m16 which is kind of cool but again it's like eh, it's not super 10 out of 10 weapon for bunker bravo so i think we're kind of done with the fourth floor now so here we go bada bloop we're gonna activate now the hard mode bunker and i still need like wow like over 80 percent of those uh, coupon thing is so obviously i'm not going to be able to get them today and let's check the crates because i didn't check it okay here adjust the glock and here we're going to get double glock just as i said nothing really that special now we're going to hop inside of the third floor we're going to deal with a couple of those dudes we're going to snap transition ourselves through the blind one and then we're going to get a juicy juicy raid i hope so because I haven't raided i mean i did raid yesterday but i haven't uh, gotten a pretty great raid for quite some time so hopefully today is going to be a pretty great day in terms of uh bases that we raid so now let's deal with our floater bloater here with the glock very nice i do have only one shotgun here with me so hopefully that will be enough to deal with the entire here not with the entire third floor but at least to the place till i get to that blind one then we're gonna deal with that blind one with my shotgun because in my opinion still shotgun is the best weapon to deal with the blind one i've been using it since day one and that was my like go-to weapon to deal with the blind one i do know that a lot of people use their like melee weapons they try to use their some other stuff but for me i just go with the shotgun because it's not like you get tons of shotguns but when you open up like green crates in police department most of the time you're gonna get there a shotgun and you just start collecting them and it's not like you're gonna use them on bunker bravo or something so they just start collecting and i have like probably a rack of those shotguns so I don't really feel bad for using them on those blind ones. Okay, so now let's here open up the door, baby. Boom. Let's insert the password. Let's take this shotgun. And I think we're going to take the broken Glock because if the shotgun breaks, I'll be able to finish him off with the broken Glock. And my armor, dude, my armor might break. This is going to be a tough, tough cookie. Okay. You know what? I have like three sets of this stuff. So what's the point of keeping it, right? We're going to be literally fighting here with this armor. Wait, does it... Does it even protect? Yeah, I mean, it protects a little bit. So we're going to get rid of this armor and that's it. We're going to be fighting our blind one with this armor because I have like three sets, one at the base plus two in inbox. So I really don't think that it's worth it to keep it. So now we're just going to snap transition ourselves through the blind one. And also I've done the poll there a couple of weeks ago and people like 80% people wanted me to snap transition through the blind one. So, <laughs> so here we go. We just dealt with our blind one in a perfect moment. Here we go, baby. Boom. We've gotten 35 red tickets. So now let's go. Let's open up our red crate, dude. Why did you click on that? We just fought the blind one here with our special armor here. It still has a little bit of durability, but I'm pretty sure like that tactical armor would have just been destroyed and then I might have died there. And also, fun fact, I know that probably nobody cares about this, but I remember that back in the good old days, I used to test that stuff. And if you're going to put your gas mask here and if you're going to stand in front of the gas here, your gas mask is going to start losing durability. So for those who didn't know, hey, you're going to know it right now. But I remember that like not one of my first first videos, I'm not even sure if it's it's up on the channel but long long ago i made that video where i tested if the gas mask is gonna work against the gas pipe and it does work it does protect you but 
your dual lowest durability. Well, guys, let's open up now the red, red crate. Here we go, baby. Oh, click on this dude. Here we go. Bloop. And uh, just at least one AK. I'll be happy about it. And somehow I can already envision that we're going to get a gas tank inside. And I've gotten a gas tank. Like, somehow, every time I open it, you can know that you're going to get here a gas tank. Like, that's how common these gas tanks are. Just ask yourself, when was the last time that you've gotten your ATV chopper fork? I think that these chopper forks became more rare than these gas tanks. But regardless, loot is pretty okay. We've gotten here one AK and one M16. Yeah, some other stuff. I'm pretty happy with it. Besides, we didn't get a C4 here. But again, with that a new slash machine edition, we have a lot of and a lot of C4s. I don't think I'll have to bother about C4s anymore. Oh, and how did I forget about this? What is up, scammer? The specialist take this. Take this garbage and take this garbage. So we're at like, what, 35% uh, done maybe. Well, better than nothing. So after forever and a little bit, we're going to be raiding this base, Gusto Audi. Let's just hop inside. So here as usual, I don't even have to say it, but yes, indeed, I've done a little bit of research and uh, this base looks like it's just going to be a really, really huge honeycomb. So, I mean, we're just going to see how it's going to go. I'm not sure if this guy is going to have pretty, if, if it's going to have pretty great loot, but... We will see. I haven't seen anybody here unlocking a lot of and a lot of chests. They just chop down here random walls. They just go like this path and you can find here a couple of chests. So at least that's what I'm going to do here right now. Going to waste a bunch of and bunch of level two hatchets. So we're going to chop down now one more door. I always think that it's better to leave your chests at the very, very end because you can always like do three hits to most of your chests. And uh, after that, you can just bulk open them, but you cannot bulk destroy a bunch of walls. So I guess that makes sense. Okay, so now let's try to chop down one more chest over here baby but okay another dude coming in what i thought i dealt with all of those schmucks but no one more have just spawned okay so let's open up the chest here and inside we're gonna get like basically nothing a little bit of transistors probably gonna take them three stacks of duct tape i mean obviously better than nothing completely but hey that's not what i want to do uh can you please open up the wall here we go let's try to chop down uh, one more wall up there and then i do know that i still didn't chop down one more chest over there so we're gonna definitely chop down the chest that's lower behind me but not yet we're gonna chop this down and inside we're gonna get a little bit of gasoline three air filters and some more turret parts awesome awesome and a wave of zombies snap transition well, that's it. Zomzoms are sleeping here once again. I think I picked up everything from this chest. We could get like eight batteries or something. But again, my lock with batteries is completely depleted. For some reason, I don't get any more copper from that. And if I do get it's like one copper from a stack of batteries, which again is maybe kind of reasonable, but kind of unreasonable. <laughs> I love this raid. You want to say whatever you want to say, but I love resource raids. I depleted all of my resources on that Fort Moss. And even though I still have to go and destroy all of the walls, uh, all of the walls from the Fort mass and again for those who did not do go back to your fort mass and destroy all of the walls destroy all of the floors from there because that place most likely is going to disappear and even let's say there are some people well psych i don't think it's going to disappear i don't want to waste my resources and if you're thinking that well it's it's only you taking that risk but for the rest of the folks there who do not like taking risks i highly and highly advise you destroying all of your floors and all of your walls to not leave anything there because most likely that event is going to disappear and and uh, you're just gonna waste a bunch of resources. So try to scramble as many things as you can from that Fort Moss while it's still there. Because I believe that next update, when next update comes out, is just gonna disappear. That's what always happened. Like, let's say when there was, like, that Barker's camp, it stayed there until next update. And as soon as next update arrived or something, that Barker's camp just disappeared. So I highly suggest you opening that up. I think I said that in the last couple of videos, but for real, I do know that some people didn't know this or maybe they were scared to take the loot or something because, like, for whatever reason, Reason. So definitely do it. Another wave of zombies. So we're going to do the snap transition here. Bada boom. Wait, I mean, bada boom. And as you can see, snap transition doesn't always work. Snap transition is like some sort of a form of art. It's not just me snapping my fingers. This is art, baby. Okay, so let's try to chop down now one more chest. Maybe I'm going to get something inside. And how many more chests do I have left? Uh, I'm not chests, but hatchets. Okay, so one more hatchet. As I said, we're going to chop down. No, no, no. Dude, chop down one more wall over here. So I believe that the big one, the big one. Do I chop it down from here? Yeah, we're going to chop down one more wall over here. My hatchets are just going to completely go bye-bye. But who cares? Okay, no chests over there. So I'm going to do just two hits on this chest, baby. Boom. Two hits on this chest. And then somehow, some way, I'll have to... Oh, no. The guy is here already. Dude, take it, take it, take it, take it. Open that up. Uh, 
pain, schmain. I'm out of, I'm out of here. Here we go, baby. Kind of survived. Very awesome. Got a little bit of resources, you know, bricks, planks. So this base gets Arx approval. Well, I was on this raid. Let's hop here for the rest up event because again, I haven't been here for quite some time. Maybe they added some new stuff. Maybe you can get caps here, but I totally, totally doubt. Okay, so I haven't done this event for a really, really long time. And I have only one Glock. You know what? If I'm going to fail, I'm just going to flee from this event. That's it. I'm just going to run away. So that's what I'll do. Okay, is this the zombie horde event? Uh, no, this is not the zombie horde event. Let's deal with this guy. Let's now deal with another guy and a guy with the baseball bat. What are you even doing, dude? What are you even doing? Imagine fighting somebody. You know, somebody has a Glock and you have a baseball bat and you go fight it. I mean, okay. You know that that survivor spawned back at the base and his base probably gets raided a couple of times a day. And he's like, what is going on? Why do I keep getting raided, mate? Uh, let's take now another Glock. And I don't even have much space for it. Okay, so while that guy is looting, let's take here now my M16 inside of my extra pocket. I do know that that M16 is broken, so not a big deal. Maybe we're even gonna get rid of it, but in my book, a broken weapon is a broken weapon better than nothing. <laughs> let's take here a Glock, and that's it. Where are there a couple of orange tickets, but we have enough of these orange tickets at the base already, so... I mean, does this raid get Sykes approval? I mean, you can see yourself kind of garbage, honestly. Definitely kind of garbage. Like, have broken Glock, in my opinion, could have been better, but... I mean, I'm gonna accept it. So I'm back here at the base, sorted out my inventory, and now we're gonna go to spin those caps, but up, 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 up. Before you start rushing me there, we have to go and prepare for it properly because today I have to get my two extra ATV transmissions because the only thing that's required now for my ATV are like those two ATV transmissions and like that one gas cylinder that I'll get like next time by that Bunker Bravo run. So like in two days, not a big deal. My Bunker Bravo is already resetting there. So all I have to do now is just get those two ATV transmissions. So we're gonna start preparing for it and. And, uh, I mean, we're gonna take something special here. We're gonna take this Patty's hat just to increase my luck. You might be like, Cyric, does this even work? And I might ask you, doesn't it work? Nobody knows the answer. So I'm definitely gonna try it out here. Go, We're gonna look like this. <laughs> I look like a moron. Nice. Just like in real life, baby. <laughs> Uh, why am I dissing myself? And now we're not gonna give up that easily. I'm gonna take a little bit of turkey. We're gonna feed my doggos here. Turkey, turkey, here we go. I'm totally ready, totally like whatever, ready to try out a lot of and a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna feed them a little bit and then I'm gonna feed them even more just so that they would bring me even more luck. Not sure if that's how it works, but whatever. So this guy has leader skills. You know what? I totally do not need the leader skill doggos. So I'm gonna leave this dog over here, over here, over here. Where is my Bobby the dog true friend doggo? Here we go. Come with me. We're gonna bring the lock as well. We're gonna bring a bloodhound one, another bloodhound level four. And do I have another bloodhound? Yes, indeed, we have another bloodhound. Like all of these dudes have bloodhound 4%. So I literally have now 12% of bloodhound. I think that this might be pretty damn worth it. And before I go anywhere else, let's eat a couple of mushrooms for the lock. Did I do everything? I think I've done everything. I don't think there's anything else that I could do to actually improve my luck. We have Bloodhound, Schmadhound, and pay the raiders. Of course, my raiders here are still at the base. They're waiting for me to pay them, so we're gonna pay them. So I just called back the raiders. They should spawn here any, any, any moment, please. Here we go, they've just spawned, and okay, so these are gonna be the tasks that we will have to do. Very epic. Okay, and I almost forgot. Let's take, like, some stuff for Jennifer, because maybe she's gonna bring some luck. I really, really highly doubt that. Okay, so there is one gas tank over here. I don't have any chopper forks, but I do have some chopper wheels. So this is the stuff that I will give to Jennifer. I don't bring her anything else. I'm not depleting my any other resources because I believe that other resources are going to be kind of important. Oh, and before I go anywhere else, I forgot something really, really important. You might be like, Cyrek, you already wasted so much of my time. Just go and spin those damn caps. And I'm like, I definitely do it, but I'm like, I'm not that superstitious, but when it comes to those caps, when I've already spent like 20k caps and I'm not, my luck is not really that great. We're going to take a shower just to go clean to that place to not stink or something. Just to, again, ruin my luck there. Do I believe in it? I mean, I should say probably yes, because if I say that I don't believe in it, it's not going to work. So yes, I believe that those things are going to help me out. And now let's wash my chopper because I mean, you got to wash your iron horse, my right. So here we go. We're at the gas station. Let's try to park my uh, lucky chopper here a bit closer just so that my luck would increase. Here we go. That's pretty, pretty awesome. Let's go. Let's talk to Jennifer. Let's give her all of these items. What's up, Jennifer? Please. Hello. Hello. You're the best person that I know here. Please give me a TV transmission. Let's give her all of that, baby. Boom, boom. 47. 
and uh, yeah, now let's go to my 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 machine here. Uh, so we have 137 caps. Should we just spin it for the luck? Now we're gonna keep it. Pity pop. Let's now go to our inbox. Let's take here those caps. Now let's insert them over here, and I'm just gonna do here the auto spin, and I'm just gonna hope that I'll be able to get this ATV transmission. And again, some people might be wondering, Cyric, you're spending here way too much on these caps. Cyric, you're an addict. Cyric, <laughs> blah blah blah. And all I just want to say, the only reason why I'm doing this, I said this many many times already, but I have to repeat it for so for some people who did not hear it or something. I I'm doing it just so that I can get this ATV faster and so that I can show this ATV for you. That's it. That's the only reason if I wasn't here in this position, if I wasn't doing here YouTube last day Earth survival videos, then most likely chances are that I would not be spinning this machine so frequently because I could just probably wait. But here, I do not want to wait. I want to go and get that ATV content for you as fast as possible. So yeah, I have here everything. I have my Patty's hat. I have my true friend Dogo. I have the Bloodhound skin and everything here we go first jackpot baby in the first jackpot we don't even have here an atv transmission like imagine what kind of luck you gotta have to on your first try not even a ATV transmission, but whatever. I'm gonna keep spinning here until we win. I think that today my bottleneck here, not bottleneck, but my roof here, the cap limit is going to be 15,000 caps. I mean, it will depend what I get and on my mood, obviously, but if I don't get like a single ATV transmission by the like 10,000 caps or something, chances are that I'm just gonna uninstall this game and that's it and leave it for good. <laughs> Because it's super annoying. Like, I've spent here for so long. I've seen so many people getting way more ATV transmission. Like, some people with 5k caps, they like get like 3, 4 ATV transmissions. I don't understand why that thing just doesn't work for me. Like, I have here everything. Well, I'm just hoping that Bloodhound is going to help out a little bit. I am not sure if that's how it works. I am like... I am sure that it works. I'm sure that it's gonna help. Right, Bloodhound, please. Also, my other biggest disappointment here. Okay, so let's think about how to open up these caps because still some people say that, Cyric, you don't think enough. Oh, I'm trying to think so hard. What do I click on this one, on this one? And that's it. Sorry, guys. I probably thought too much. Right, next time, I'm gonna try to lower down on how I think. So as I said, all I have to get here is those two ATV transmissions, and that's pretty much it. Well, also one dead gas cylinder, but that one gas cylinder isn't going to be a big deal. Just one bunker Bravo run, and I think by the time this video comes out, I will be already grinding another bunker Bravo and most likely preparing to get my ATV. So chances are, if I'm gonna get now two ATV transmissions by the time this video comes out, I will be already riding my ATV. Here we go. We've got an a minigun, so yeah, just two ATV transmissions, baby. I've seen that it's possible to get two ATV transmissions in one day. You don't only get one ATV transmission, you can also get two ATV transmissions. I mean, last time when I got in one ATV transmission, I just uh, said stop, that's it, because I didn't know if you can get more than one, but I've seen some people getting two transmissions in one day. So I just want to try my luck. I'm just going to bet on 10 and that's it. So many people also say that, hey, Syke, try to bet on 50. There is a higher chance that you'll get better rewards. And no, chances chances are not higher. I think I've spent like three or 4,000 caps in the uh, whatever previous or something video and on those 50 caps and I didn't get anything so those 50 bets guys don't do anything besides just you losing caps more frequently some people might say that hey you're just gonna win more but the point is you lose here more frequently than you win so even you betting on if 50 isn't gonna do something I do know that there is a strategy like one two three so let's say four that's it now we go back one let's say two okay one two uh, three let's say four five six that's it we just go back why am i winning only 10 on like whatever other prize i do know that you can keep like increasing like after like five or six tries if you don't win anything you can just keep increasing the bets and this way you're gonna get more coins at least i've seen some people do this but i don't really think that that works i mean you never know sometimes you're gonna get a jackpot after like 15 spins okay so one spin to spins. Okay, so that's it. 30 caps. I think I'm just wasting my caps here. I think I just wasted more caps than anything. So I seriously don't think that spending 50 caps here at once is going to be that great because if you don't win anything, you're just gonna lose like 50 caps at once. So that's just like five extra spins and uh, ATV transmission, please. Thinking so hard. Ah, this one. No, this one. No, please. Which one? Smelling this one. Yes, 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 yes. And this one, one more, please. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is so sad. I for some reason I really thought that this will be the one. I really thought that I'm gonna get ATV transmission there. I really I was like 95% sure. And hey, I guess next time I'll have to be 100% sure if I want to get it. And the point is, even when you're spinning here on 10, sometimes when you win, you're just winning like 50 or 60 caps or something. So just imagine uh, spinning here on 50 all the time. You're just gonna lose way more stuff. And as I said already, you do not get here better prizes. I've already spoke a lot that this machine is like rigged, blah blah blah, and blah blah blah. And some people agree, some people disagree that. And still, some people don't get it when I say that there's 25% chance to get that ATV transmission. Some people still don't understand what I'm trying to say. They still think that getting ATV transmission is that getting ATV transmission has a lower chance to get it, but it's still not rigged. And I'm like, how is it not rigged when it's like lower than 25% chance? Because behind all of those caps, supposedly there should be like those three caps with those ATV transmissions, but you just never hit them, right? With After opening like so many jackpots, your luck is just so bad, right? I mean, it's just like... Ah, whatever. ATV transmission. I believe in it. I believe in it. One, bleep, plop, pop. Uh, that's it. Another aluminum plate. Like, dude, I believed so hard in it. Well, I'll just keep spinning. That's only my first 1,500 caps. As I said, we're going to go up to 15,000 <laughs> caps. I can't believe it. I don't want to even believe in that. Would be really epic if I got in my ATV transmission in like 3,000 caps, and then we're gonna get another ATV transmission in like 3,000 caps. Also, 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 a lot of people say that, hey, they're getting their ATV transmissions after every 5,000 caps, which probably maybe kind of makes sense, but not for me. Uh, I don't get them. And also, I think that you're getting your second ATV transmission around like 2,000, I mean, 5,000 caps or something, because the first ATV transmission is really calm. It doesn't even matter which ones they flip here. But it's not like it matters any other time, but at least any other time I can uh, have some hope here. It doesn't even matter. Not even an ATV transmission. So I'm happy that I'm not getting that battery because if I'm going to hit that battery there, then that means my chances to get ATV transmission just lowered and I'll be sad. At least that's what I think. So I don't want to get that battery. <laughs> Again, so far, mood is great. If I had to rate my mood 10 out of 10, I would say that I'm like 0 out of 10. Nah, I'm like... I don't know, 9 out of 10 for now, at least. Like, I mean, the mood about spinning caps here. So far, I still have hope that we're going to get something because, I mean, it's only first 1,500 caps. Even though that's a lot of caps, like 1,500 caps is going to take you like a month and a half just to grind. So imagine this, you took your month and a half to grind last dinner at survival every single day. You decided to do that bunker alpha every two days. You decided to grind that police department every like three days and open up like those greens, green crates all the time. You decided to go to every single airdrop and you've gotten like 1,000 caps per month. So, thousand. Uh, a month and a half and this is all you get imagine that kind of moment and uh, still some people still don't get it it's kind of weird same thing like with those purple crates like when people watch that five purple crate opening video that I made people are like wow Cyric why are you disappointed you ungrateful schmuck you've gotten so many guns and I'm just like did, did they just skip the video to the part about those purple crates like it's super weird like to open up one purple crate I mean I don't even have to explain this like you gotta be a dumb dumb like let's be honest here you gotta be a dumb dumb if you think that purple crates are worth it like you gotta have an IQ of a cucumber to think that purple crates are worth it and I'm not even gonna bother explaining that I explained that in my 20 other videos here going the last one a TV transmission please I don't have an IQ of a cucumber, just of a peanut. Yes! <laughs> no, 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 no! I don't believe in this. I was so close. God dang us. Still pretty great. Let's get another batch of 1,500. This is sad. I, I just... I just hate my life. Well, we've gotten, guys, some more caps. Let's take that, baby. Boom, boom. And <laughs> let's start spinning here even more. I don't even know what I was talking about there. I think I completely lost my point. I was speaking about, like, those purple crates, that purple crates are bad. Oh, and same here with Lucky Chest, because, yeah, yeah, I, I remember what I tried to say. Some people told me, like, hey, Syak, why are you upset? You can get so much stuff inside of these Lucky Chests. You're getting so many guns, so many C4s. Stop being such a little schmuck and whining and complaining because you get so many great stuff there. And I'm just like, dude, like, like, it's... Yeah, I think exactly, like most of you, 99.9% .9 of people, you know how I feel like you're probably face palming yourself about those kind of comments. But hey, this is live, baby, so let's skip spinning, spinning to ATV transmission. You know what, if it only was one ATV transmission, I think it would be more intriguing, but like two, getting two ATV transmissions in one day, is that even possible? Like, I don't want to spend too many caps, I'm not spending more than 15,000 caps, you gotta know your limits, another jackpot, and jackpot with ATV transmission, 100%, look at that, so we're gonna just open up caps that are like half sliced here because they say maybe that's how it works okay one half sliced cap another half slice half sliced half sliced dude one more one more over here please no uh 
Please. Which one I'm gonna open up? No. And uh, no. And <laughs> I knew it. I freaking know it. <laughs> Haters gonna hate. Cyrix gonna win and put on a dumb grin. That was a pretty lame rhyme, but I've gotten an ATV transmission and you didn't. <laughs> I'm just starting to diss my own subscribers now, guys. I hope you're gonna get your ATV transmissions as well, seriously. Like, all to all honesty, I hope, guys, that you are gonna get your <laughs> ATV transmissions. Oh, wait, 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 stop it, dude, stop it, dude. I gotta go back, stop it. No, 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 spin it, get out of here, baby, boom. So only one more ATV transmission and I'll be great. Okay, so where should I keep it? You know what, just in case to not ruin, my should I keep it with me? I mean, I'm gonna put it back in my chopper, <laughs> just in case. If it's gonna ruin something, let's keep spinning, baby. I really didn't think my luck is now again 10 out of 10 feeling, even though it's expensive. It's expensive as hell. So smash the like button on the video, please, about that, guys. Let's support the video. Leave a comment down below. Even if you have nothing to say, just say hello. It's always nice to read comments that don't criticize on how I open up those cabs because, like, every second comment is the Cyric. You open it out wrong, Cyric. You're doing something wrong, so. Reading something normal instead of reading something of what I'm doing wrong is always nice. So <laughs> I'm just hyped, dude. We've got an ATV transmission, and this time I think we're gonna call somebody once again. Well, here we go. We've got it. One more jackpot, baby. I mean, it's okay. We cannot. I don't think we're gonna get here an ATV transmission. And again, this time people are gonna be like, "Well, Cyric, you see, my strategy worked. You just looked at the caps. Which ones looked like a bit more cut? These ones you have to open up. Blah blah blah." And I'm just like, <laughs> guys, it didn't matter. I mean, it all mattered because I have here my Patty's hat and I have the true friend doggo with me. Look at that. He's just so happy. Am I, can you see him? Yeah, indeed you can see him. The Bobby dog is super happy. Very excited doggo. He's so proud to have such an owner. I fed them. I gave them like, what, 30 hours worth of turkey. Did you feed your doggos this way? Nope. I did it. So this is 100% reason why I got that ATV transmission. You know what? I'm talking here like, hey, I've got an ATV transmission. I'm so happy, but chances are that I am not going to get another ATV transmission today. But again, got to believe in myself, dude. Just got to believe it. Here go. Don't want to get that um, ATV uh, battery. Just get out of here. Okay, so 20 caps left, uh, 10 caps left, and uh, bada boom. Okay, we won a little bit. Okay, so still 20 more. Am I going to lose here or no? Okay, one more, baby. That's pretty much it. Okay, so let's get out of here. Let's get... 1,500 extra caps. Broop, brap, uh, get, get, bada boom. Let's go. Let's start spinning here once again. Almost closed the recording. My heart barely stopped. Okay, so let's start, guys, spinning here once again. And I think I'm not gonna go pee pee because full bladder is never good for luck. Well, I'm back. Let's try to open up here a couple of caps. And at the same time, I don't even know why do I... Wait, wait, wait. Two of those. We're gonna finish the sentence a bit after. Obviously, we're not gonna get anything. I mean, it's always like that. That's it. We just got in the high-tech component, but I don't even know why I have to share all of that information with you here. Like, I'm gonna go pee-pee. I'm gonna breathe. I'm gonna do whatever other stuff. I'm gonna drink some water here right now. But this is Episarch's channel, so the more you know, the better. Am I right? So my mood is back to 9 out of 10 because I had to get another batch of caps, and it's annoying. Like, I I mean, it's not a big deal. I've gotten my TV transmission pretty early, so I still have have like 10,000 caps probably left just to spin here to get one extra ATV transmission. But seriously, if I'm now going to get a second ATV transmission, then most likely tomorrow or after tomorrow, I will be recording another video on how I'm riding that ATV. And also, I just want to say that hopefully you enjoyed today's video. It's still not out yet. It's going to be out in about two hours, but this, uh, but that video was called Beware. So it's a bit different game than Last Day on Earth Survival because while we are waiting here for that ATV, there is not much content I can do here in Last Day on Earth Survival. I'm already like basically doing almost daily Last Day on Earth Survival videos. So sometimes it's really great to check out other games. So hopefully you enjoyed that game at least a little bit. And I think tomorrow after this video is going to come out, there will be another video. And then after that, we're going to finally start writing our ATV. So let's open that up. Let's go like this, baby. Bada boom, uh, bada boom, bada boom, uh, speed up, speed up. One more. If that's it, I'm gonna just flip out a little bit. Nah, just green. <laughs> Could have flipped out a little bit. Could have flipped out, but didn't flip out. Well, here we go. 20 caps left. 10, 13, baby. Boom, boom. And uh, we lost everything. So let's get our another batch of 1,500 caps. 
Where are they? Here we go. Well, okay, baby, boom. Let's now take these caps. Sick and tired of these caps here completely. As I said many times, I still think I have to repeat it. If it wasn't for YouTube videos, if it wasn't for you guys that I, I would want to share this ATV content, I would not be buying these caps here. Don't think that I'm some sort of like crazy person here that, wow, I want to get ATV ASAP. It's just, I don't really care. I'm, I would have gotten that ATV later. Like I would just be able to wait if it wasn't, if I wanted to share that ATV as soon as possible with you, because if I'm not gonna get ATV like in the next couple of days, there is nothing I can show for you here in the game because currently there's not much we can do. ATV transmission, I can smell it. Another half cut cap. Uh, it's not like half cut, it's just like bended in a certain way. I don't think it does anything, but at least it's more interesting to open them up like that, looking at the patterns instead of opening up them randomly. I don't think it matters. It matters a lot. It matters a lot. Give me a cap. Please, please, please. Ah, oh, no. No, no, I kind of even thought that maybe that was a golden cap, but nope, it wasn't a golden cap. Well, 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 look at that. We are out of caps, baby. <laughs> Let's get extra 1,500. Okay, so I hope that this is seriously going to be the last time when I have to get them. But a broom, prim. Let's go up. Let's take this, this baby, and let's start spinning here once again, please. So another jackpot, baby. Have bent caps, please, please, please. So far, zero. Okay, one, please. Nothing. Just an M16. Are you kidding? me are you kidding me this is now my mood is like i would say like five out of ten now seriously like i'm like 50 50 half pissed half still happy because i've gotten one atv transmission i still need one more well here we go we've gotten one more jackpot uh, this this baby this uh this uh this one more please one no no oh. Well, wow, we are out of caps here once again. Like, that is just insane. Okay, so these are rewards that we got. I think we should just take all of them. Maybe that'll help me out actually to get more prizes because the chest is kind of filled. Okay, so we're going to fill it in with guns. Again, rewards are good. Some people might see it. Well, it's like, wow, you're disappointed. You're getting here so many, so many guns, which again, is pretty great. But it's not what we are going for. It's totally not the reason why we're doing this. I can get those guns from Bunker Alpha, but I cannot get the ATV transmissions from Bunker Alpha. Well, here we go. We've gotten another jackpot now let's open this up please please only like one atv transmission and i can just go home let's open that one more 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 no 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 <laughs> I've been recording here for two hours, like literally hour and a half of those bottle flip spinning thingies. Like my head is going crazy. Like my head is now spinning like just this last machine here. Well, look at that. We've got an, another jackpot. Let's just open those up like ATV transmission, please. No, 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 no. My mood is now like three out of 10. Seriously, I'm barely alive here. I don't want to get any more caps. Like this is getting disappointing at this point. Another flap, splap, chmop, chpop, pick, pack. Prip, prip, prip. Just disappointed. That's it. I don't even have any more uh, strength here to speak properly. All I have is just like, oh, and that's it. Beam, prip, prip, prip. Well, here we go. Another one. Zero expressions. Please give me my TV transmission. Please. No, 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 no. Here we go. Another TV transmission flipping thingy. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. One more. One more. Please. I know that we're going to... My mood is not 2 out of 10, seriously. Just like 2 out of 10. Gone. No more caps. Gone. Awesome. Here we go. Let's get it. Mood is like, seriously, guys. 1 out of 10. Let's open up. Let's start. Let's spin a little bit more. Well, another jackpot, baby. Please. Like, just one more. That's it. Just one. Not two anymore. Just one. And I'll be done with it for today. I'll be able to go. <laughs> another guy. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Nothing, 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 nothing. Another jackpot. Beep, 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 boop, boop. Ooh, that's it, that's it, that's it. Well, that was quicker than I thought. Another jackpot! Sire getting ATV transmission. Not today, not today. Please, I beg you. At this point, I'm ready to beg. Please, 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 please. So we've done already like 10k caps. I think this is going to be my last time if I don't get anything. I don't know. Well, let's take here the last caps of the day. Another spinny, schmini, prini, prip, pop, pop. Okay, one more. Just one more. Like, dude, can I open? Can I get it? Like, please. Like, I'll be just gone. Like, I think I've already 
spent here enough money to get it. I think I deserve that my last ATV transmission. Like, how many more caps? This is 10,000 caps, 10,000 before, like, plus, I think maybe around 30,000 caps here, I think, I assume, probably 30k caps here spent. Well, another uh, jackpot, please. Somehow, somewhere, yes, one more, one more, one more, one more, please, 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 please. <gasps> oh, I'm done, I'm done. Oops, did I break my headphones? Nope, I didn't. I didn't. No, actually, I would be upset if I broke my headphones. Stop spinning. We don't care about it. This is it. This is like literally my entire reaction for the last uh, cap sp spinning. Screw you, slash machine. I'm never coming back to you. We still have 1,000 caps. You know what? Maybe we're going to spin that one day. Give me my last ATV transmission and... <laughs> ATV. <laughs> is this what you wanted? <laughs> I am happy. I am happy. We've spent a lot of caps. I'm like thinking here, how many more caps will I have to spin? I'm like, I'm just done with my life. I don't want to do another spinning video. And uh, how am I going to bring all the guns with me? I think I fed here developers for a couple of days now. <laughs> Let's go. So we're now going to go back to the base. I'm going to insert all of these ATV transmission. I'm going to show you my ATV progress. And the point is, like, the only reason why we won there is because I had this patty hat. And uh, because I fed my doggos properly and everything and ate the mushroom before I came here. So if you didn't do it, then most likely you're doing something wrong. Hopefully this video is going to help you out on <laughs> what am I talking about, dude? Let's go to the base. First of all, let's start out the inventory and then we're going to place everything. Everything. Well, that's it, baby. Let's go to my ATV. And as you can see, three ATV transmissions, baby. One, two, <laughs> three. That's awesome. Let's place that in. Only one freaking gas cylinder. And that will be it. Only one more, dude. Seriously, one more. So in two days, when my Bunker Bravo resets, we're going to do Bunker Bravo. And then we're just going to go, guys, room, room to our swamp location. We're going to unlock the ATV. So for sure, like, there's no doubt anymore. Like, I'm going to have enough guns right now. I've gotten here enough AKs. I've gotten enough stuff. We're gonna easily do that bunker bravo one more time and my ATV like literally two days. So just gonna take the rest of the stuff here and Doggle, thank you so much. Here we go. Do the roll just for the people here. Thank you so much for helping me out. So I highly suggest you checking out this video where I play the most unique game I've seen or click here on the second card and you'll see how I've gotten a circus bike or hop over to my channel. Go to play this and there you'll find a lot of other games that I played here on the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, definitely sure to drop the subscribe button and notification bell threat miss any future videos and consider following me on instagram or twitter at epicyric mm -hmm. yep